Hello guys, this is Ahmed Hofi for Arab 4D Studios and um, this tutorial will be a quick introduction to the Cineware Lite. So first, uh, what's Cineware? Cineware is a new exchange plugin that has been added to After Effects CC that allows, you, uh, that allows After Effects to directly open the Cinema 4D files which allows you to uh, composite to do the compositing and finish the whole project in After Effects without even rendering anything in Cinema 4D. So uh, I'll show you guys a quick uh, basic introduction in this tutorial. So uh, that's what we'll be making. A pretty basic thing in here, some letters that just flies in and um, pretty basic lens gets in here. So uh, I didn't do anything in Cinema 4D besides these letters and all as a background and all the stuff we just added in After Effects. So let's get this made quickly. Uh, I'll add a mood text. Um, just wait it to load. Here it is. Just leave it as it is. Set it to middle, and that's what we are getting. Just set it to bold, and now uh, let's add a plane effector and for the uh, just set the plane effector to affect the letters then we will set it to get the position to just change the position by negative thousand set the fall off to linear change the orientation to positive x set fall off to 100 and then we have this nice uh, animation that we can make so we will begin at this position then from 10 to maybe 60 we will just move it at the back and let's see what we have in here okay looks pretty nice now uh, I will add a random effector and we will can add some rotation as well and then we will set the effector to be a noise now you should see this uh, now we should see this pretty nice effect that we have in here and I will actually uh, animate the strings so we will need more frames in here and um, at maybe 55 to kind of 80 we will set strings to 0 so let's see what's happening here okay looks pretty nice so uh, now we can just save the project as it is in here and do all the other composting in After Effects. But before I go to After Effects, I'll just set up a small null where we add, where we will add the uh, lens flare to it. So uh, I'll use a light object and uh, I will quickly animate it. So just turn some intensity off. Probably you just turn all these things off now set it to 150 frames let's go to frame 90 just move it to here and allow vertex snap or not or just allow grid point snap yes so uh, now we can snap to these points now I'll add a frame in here at 110 and I'll add a frame in here so let's see what we have in now. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Now we can just go now and uh, now we can save the project file and just add it to After Effects to add all the things we need to it. But before I go there, I'll just add a camera, set it up quickly. Okay, now we are done. Let's save our project and um, just save it to tutorial. And let's go to After Effects. And all we need to do now is just drag and drop the uh, file to our project panel. And now you see Cinema 4D does already gets your uh, file in there. So I'll just go in here, change the orientation a bit. 
set the frame range to all frames just set anti-analyzing to best and save it just leave it open in case we wanted to change anything now you just go in here and if you notice that before changing the settings here the resolution was 800 by 600 now it changed it automatically to 100 to 80 by 720 as soon as it saved the project file in here and that's pretty cool see so just get a new composition in here and you should probably see what we have now so one of the just uh, pretty bad disadvantages of uh, anywhere is it kinda um, it's pretty slow so uh, I hope this Maxon and Cinema 3 works in a kinda faster one now you should see we have a problem because we didn't have any lights in here so let's just get a quick setup for lights I will create kind of a, um, a warm light in here orangey thing yes now we will get now an ambient illumination light a global light that will light our scene a kind of yellow a uh, kind of blue and now you could see this nice um, sh nice lights that we get and, and just add ambient occlusion and didn't do well in here okay no need for it now we can set this um, this light to can allow some shadow maps and now you should see what we have in here so I'm doing a RAM preview now and um, it looks pretty cool so what to do now? Now uh, I'll just show you uh, some of the options that we have in here. So at first the render settings allows you to choose the quality of the render. The software render is kind of similar to the viewport in Cinema 4D and the standard draft is gonna uh, actually renders a copy in a, a kind of an image in Cinema 4D and adds it in here but it's a pretty low quality image and the standard final is a, a highest quality available um, also the project settings allows you to gonna choose the camera that you want as you can see I have only one camera in here so it's only showing me this one if we have more than one camera we can just use it and um, also there is an option to uh, uh, choose a multi pass we want if we uh, if are using multi pass in here we can just export each one to uh, a layer in here and uh, the final option is exporting the cinema 4d data which we will use now to uh, export the slides that's animated so let's just first uh, get a background in here so I will add a new solid okay then we add a gradient ramp a ramp yes here it is add it to the solid and I want some kind of blue and a kind of darker blue in here yes okay now this should be right there and this would be here no that's the end of the ramp yes okay so let's inverse those colors and here's this should be yeah now the start is right there and the end would be kind of uh, right there yes looks nice but we need a red ramp and that looks nice just get it out of the way yeah okay now we might need to change some of the settings here we need some more blue color save yes okay more blue set it to 90 yeah that's what I want now let's work on the lens so um, I will go to the anywhere effect in here and there's an option to extract the scene data so just press ok now we should have a light here that's actually animated that we could use to 
add anything to it, burned it to anything. So I will remove the other two lights, just leave the camera because it's actually uh, the one that's telling the light where it should be. Now uh, I will add another solid layer to add the lens on and we will, uh, I'm using here the lens um, I'm actually using I will use I'll use the video copilot optical flares plugin it's pretty nice you should use it and now uh, the first thing to just adjust is the positioning positioning mode just set it to track lights and name starts with no need for it because we actually have only one light now you should probably see it working okay now uh, also we need to change the background so um, it's uh, now working on a black background uh, just just go to where it was mm, foreground layer no yes the render mode just set it to on transparent now you should see what's happening besides the uh, just back now just go to the options and we can just use a, another lens flare effect we have a lot on here okay so we can go to browser um, preview can change some of the things in here press ok ok now we're gonna change the brightness so um, we'll set it to zero for now and just move backward in here until uh, we see the light at its original place yes can in here Yes, now we will animate the brightness. 50 or 40 person. And we will go in here, just add another keyframe for 40. And then go at the end of the animation, set it back to zero. And that's it. So, um, as I told you, this is a basic tutorial. It's uh, just to show you guys how to use this anywhere and what can you do with it and it's uh, pretty fun you just can go add some cubes play with them and um, you'll find that this anywhere is a pretty nice time saver um, workflow so uh, let me just create a a quick RAM review to show you the result this will take some time so I'll stop the recording yet now so the RAM preview is finished and that's our final result and I think um, that just wraps up our tutorial I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and uh, for more tutorial please subscribe to Art of 4D Studios and if you want to subscribe to my personal channels all the links will be in the description so uh, I'll see you soon guys goodbye